Hi, I'm Jill with Copycat Crafts by Jill, and I'm back. This is, I believe, number six, and I only brought that one, this one out to show what we're going to be working on today. Hopefully two pages, and we're going to get them knocked out, because one will be super easy. This, this one here, it, it's part of the pocket in the front, and you don't see very much. Well, on my end. And that is the part right here. So when I get my end in order, you really only see about an inch. But I already picked out my piece of paper and I inked the three sides because the fourth side will be under the pocket. And that's makes the pocket so this one will be easy peasy and we're going to get right to it so i'm going to set the rest of this aside so we don't get glue or anything on it and you just want to make sure that you're working on the uh the flat side because it's, it goes like this so it stands up like that, and when you open your book, that's your laptop, uh, lap book, and this will be the only, the first page you see. But the pocket, the big pocket fits down here. So just make sure you have the single side. Once you know you do, you can open it, I like to, just so that it lays flat. And this will get glued right there. I'm gonna reach around here. Sorry, I don't bump my phone because I would like to get my brayer out so that I can make sure things are flat. Move that stuff out of the way. Um, I wish I could just use my stick glue, but just not that comfortable with it yet. Okay, so we're going to make sure all the sides are down, uh, all the corners get glued down nice and nice and tight. We don't want the corners flipping up. We will do more decorating, either at the end or, or privately. But for now, we just want to get what, we, what we're supposed to cover, get it covered. Don't be stingy with the glue. We, we, want, we don't want it to, to come up. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to spin it around. Get it as close as you can to that score line. And smooth it out. And smooth it down. Right. Just gonna give it a couple make sure it's nice and smooth. I think that's pretty good. Yep. Press around the edge. All right. We're going to bring this back in. Just so you can see. That's what it will look like. Eventually, we're going to glue it here and here, and this back here will be a big pocket. Then I have this little pocket here and this pocket here and the flap or the top goes here now mine on the back the flap top gets put under so i'm only going to see i don't know about an inch and a half on the back but we're not worried about that yet so let's put that aside when you open it it's always easier to 
keep double checking that you have everything where you need it to be. This is the piece that will get glued down and that we just glued our decoration onto, our paper onto. This is the page we worked on the last two videos. This is the page we're going to work on right now. So just so you know where we are, get your piece, uh, if you're working along, get it the way it's supposed to be. Sit it down and open it up. This is the page. So we're going to remove this. It's, this is what we're working on. Now I am going to open it just uh, to hopefully get it a little flatter. I'm also going to have to open the back just to get it a little as flat as I can get it. One, two, three. So I'm just going to open all this up. Plus it helps remind me which way is up. That's up. <laughs> and I already picked my piece of paper. Just remember this gets tucked under. So we're just working here. So I already picked my piece of paper and I inked it because I'm well aware <laughs> that my videos have gotten long and um, I work slow. So I wanted to try and make it uh, a little bit to move along a little bit quicker. So we are going to, if I can get my glue to work uh, better that open all right and let's see if that works a little better and we got it right off the page all right again I'm not going to be stingy with the glue I'd rather have it squeak out a little bit and know that it's really glued down then, then we get to its home, or or I go and open it, and, and the glue didn't hold. So I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, spin it around for me. I already know which side I want is up. Make sure we don't go over either side where it's going to have to bend. I wanted it a really kind of a close tight fit because we're, we're gonna have a lot going on here. Now on my original one I did not glue the the pages under the paper um I, I could have here but i didn't before so i'm not doing it on this one just to let you know you can you don't have to and it's fine it's absolutely fine um i already inked the i picked the pages whoop, and i already inked them these are the ones i'm using so let's get this down make sure if glue seeped out anywhere I can try and clean that up Maybe while I just give this a minute I can get my pin and, and get it back in the glue where it belongs I'm going to make a lot of noise while I'm doing it Okay, clean that off. <laughs> I didn't want to use my pin with all my little bits hanging on it because it doesn't, it, the bits just get caught for me in the, in the uh, needle and then I can't find the needle. Okay, so again, this will fit like that. But we want it open on um, on my original I have a piece here and I gave a little room just for interest this will flap so I do want to just make sure I ink good over here and here 
I inked the, the tops. I just didn't want to waste too much time inking and end up with a 49 minute video for you, for you guys. So I'm going to pull out my, my inking piece. The other day when I used the stick glue, I <laughs> Now my, now my thing has glue all over it. And I don't want to just wipe it off because this, I like to squirt water on and use the ink that's on there to like stain different papers I want to use. And so I'm stuck in a quandary now. will work out okay so let me do these I know a, a lot of uh, paper crafters and junk journalers have really backed away from inking and and when I watch their stuff I'm like wow that's so pretty <laughs> and then I get <laughs> I get a nice pretty piece of paper and somehow you know uh, now the other thing is you can see I have a hole poked in these because they will get the closures I punched out my closures are right here but I didn't put them together because I wasn't um, I wanted to do it on camera so I have three pieces of cardstock one's just plain one's one I won't use for anything else and one is the one that I want to use so I'm going to glue those together you don't have to use three you can use two and I think I want to use my other glue because it's comes out quicker. Um, the holes are a little crooked. I'll re-punch the holes because that's not going to matter. And I like to make sure the glue goes to the ends of the circle because I don't want the string getting caught in in between these circles. Okay. Let's see sure that that's down I'm going to put on the third layer I don't think you need three two is probably fine a uh, two is fine not probably two is fine it's just I'm a little heavy-handed so I like to really put a little extra a little extra extra then once I punch the hole, which before I do that, I'm going to do this, this other one. So I have my, my piece of cardstock. One. Crooked like little hole. One that I won't use for anything else. And the one I want to use, which is right here. And make sure they line up and are glued to the end. Now I also have my spacers, which I, I did glue. These are three thin cardstock hole, uh, little round, uh, circles that are actually from when I punch these out I keep the little holes and that's what I keep them for so what I'm gonna do is make a little room here those are my brads that I'll be using get my glue away 
So before I get them started, oh, I do see some glue there. All right. Because like I said, this one will get glued here. And I want it, a, I'm going to eyeball it, but it, I want it as close, um, evenly spaced from the top and from the bottom as as even as your eye can can catch it so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna glue that up and put that on first this is for me when it comes in handy to use the glue that gives me a little bit more time to maneuver it around because I am not one shot Jill. Nope. Nope, I am not. And that's fine. Nope. Just gotta know your, st <laughs> your style or lack thereof <laughs> and work with it. <laughs> Okay, so again, I think it was right about there. I'm going to just lay, put this down. We want it right to the edge of that paper. Because we don't want it to go into the, the fold. We do not. And this piece... It's a little, it doesn't really bother me. So this one will go on top, and this one goes on the bottom. Um, and I want a label, which I didn't pick out, or a tab, label, tab, tab. I want a tab. Didn't pick it out. Wasn't sure what I wanted to go with. I, I'm going to go with a round one because I put round over here. So I'm going with round. But I may go with this round because none of those have the little stitch marks. And this one... This one does, so I want one with no stitch marks, so I'm going to go with this one. There, easy peasy. Also, I will not stamp on it right now. I can do that later. Or put a rub on something. Um, I love those darn rub ons. And you can get them on eBay. And if you shop them, I've found a whole pack of the Tim Holtz rub on for like seven, like, I don't remember if it was $5.99 or $6.99, probably $6.99. And free shipping. What? Or $7.99. Free shipping. Oh, yeah. All right. So just got to shop them around. That was on eBay, though. I always check eBay and uh, Amazon. And you guys may know this little hack, but if you put it in your cart and give the, uh, a seller, the seller, a few days, sometimes they send you a little bit of a discount. You didn't hear that from me. Okay. I think that's pretty, uh, it's not quite as dark as the ones I have down, so we'll mar it up a little bit more, because they were different cardstock, from different cardstock, but that's okay. I also want to ink these, so... And for these, 
the brad you will see the brad legs on the back i like that look sometimes and on my original i happen to like it so you don't want to hide them or so i'm not and i do have a uh a video that i want to make my granddaughter who's a young lady she's 17 and a half she's not not tiny um she made me a birthday card gift card holder thing that is just phenomenal i can't wait to do a video on it um that's right i'm copycatting my own granddaughter yes i am um okay i'm never good at finding center never so i am going to get my pokey tool here and i'm going to be close i'm just going to just going to look for closeness of a center see how can i how can that look close <laughs> i don't know and for these i don't need to actually poke a hole you can but i'm just going to use my pokey tool i'm sorry if i was off thing because my brads are are tiny okay that's one let's do the next one no that's get that in Okay, it's two. Then these I will poke a hole in with this, but but it will never be in the center. <laughs> Maybe I can go by how badly this one is not in the center. No, that will throw me off. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go there. Gonna, gonna call that center close enough to help mark this one. Why is center so hard to find for some? Other people seem to eye it and they're like dead on. They'll say they're not. But we got eyes, we see it. Okay. So now, so we want, okay, I want the darker one on the bottom. So now let's pick out our, our brads. I have my little, okay, well, if I did, I don't, there they are. I can say I don't know where I put it, but found it. Only because once I get my fat little fingers in there, and I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, so those. I wish I wouldn't have mixed them up. I can say that right now. All right. So, yes, this one goes on the bottom. Now, what I was going to show are right, these are the the uh, whole enforcers that you can reinforcers that you can just buy at Walmart and I put I stamped on them and no one's gonna see it but I think if you just put it there as a little bit extra protection I just I just do I'm just so oh, gotta close it all the way I can get it in there. I guess I poked it in backwards, so we're going to have to go this way. Okay, 
then this one is the one for down here correct and i'm going to do it you can also put a whole reinforcer on the bottom if you want it doesn't and it doesn't have to be one of them but this one's for the bottom now we're gonna do oh, I think I'll do it I'll do it here I should have put one on to show you but just that little extra protection Why the legs are already apart makes it hard to get them through the little. Whoop. <laughs> Gotta put it on. Look, looked a little more. Boop. Okay. Do I see a little bit of glue here? Oh, I mean, a little. <laughs> okay. This one is for the top. Let's get these out of the way. Let's see how well this did. Okay. So this one goes on the bottom. And again, it will be... This will be closed, so it will go over it, and I wanted it to be a kind of a tight fit. I didn't want it to be like that. I just wanted it to be a tight fit. So, and it is. So, we will wait with that. Pick this up and... So anyway, my daughter, my granddaughter made me this gift card holder and she designed it and she <laughs> made it so adorable. I just, I just love it. So I spent the other day just going trying to do a copycat because I'm gonna do a copycat of it and uh, it, it's it, I mean it's it's easy but it's harder than it looks like in my mind I was like oh a five minute thing no no not so much just don't want white showing. Do not want the white showing. And then I have the same brown string that I use. I'm going to use on on this. It's it's really good string. I think it, they crochet like doilies with it and stuff. Kind of like a... Super, super thin... Um, crocheting stuff. But um, I'm going to shift it down the hair. Peed on that. That, that closes and that closes yep okay looking like it's all fitting together now um i think i had a person or two maybe worry that this might be uh, a little um, you know a little bit more difficult than what they perhaps were wanting to <laughs> to tackle but and that that could very well be but you don't have to tackle this whole thing you could 
in any journal you're making or any lap book you're making, you could take any of these ideas, just one, one idea and put it in wherever you were what on whatever project you're working on and and I think um it would really be fun to just try page by page project by by project you don't have to attempt if you're not if you feel like you're not ready you don't have to attempt the the whole entire project like this um you certainly could do it. It's not, it's not rocket science. And I know I had to watch Margaret's video a few times. Each, each video, <laughs> each video a few times. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to think on this. I may, I thought it would match here. But this will be like that. So I just, I may just think on that. Here's the string. Um, I have a longer piece. I just want to, if this isn't quite long enough, I don't want to, you know, I want a longer piece. Which I have right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to knot it on the bottom. Hope that's not a mistake. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so once under, once over. Just confused myself. There's a whole thing. Oop, I'm not sure. Something about one over, one under, but I'm not sure. Cut it short and I'm going to spin it around here. Put that down. Probably should have put it up, but. Now let's see how many times. One, two. We're going to go two and a half, three, and then I can put a little, little knot in it, a little loop. I'm not sure. But I always like to just put a little loop in there. Yes, I did. Okay. Done. Okay. Now I can reclose this. One, two, three, four. And this. Done. Almost done. We still have a little decorating to do, but basically it is done. So now we have this. Then we open it and we have this. Easy, right? I think it's easy. And I think if you try it, you'll see. I think it's one of those things that the final project looks like it was way harder than what it actually is. Okay. Hope that was uh, a little bit more shorter and sweeter. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to ask them. And I do get back to everyone. So, I hope you enjoyed. Stay creative.